<coughs> Hello gamers. Um, this is part two of my pickup videos. Um, I got a new camera. It's a Cami Leo B10 by Toshiba. It's a 1080p. Um, that's what I'm using right now. Um, I'm recording in 720p at 60 frames per second right now. I can do it in 30 frames per second. Um, and 1080p is only 30 pr frames per second. So I thought I'd see the difference between the 60 frames of 720p and the 30 frames of 1080p. See which one looks better. Um, it can also take a. It says it says 5 megapixel still image, but um, if you play with the settings, it'll allow you to do 12. So. Don't let that be deceiving. And there's also a hidden feature in here. Um, it doubles as a webcam as well if you wanted to use it as a webcam. So, um, which I thought was kind of neat in a sense. <coughs> it has uh, a uh, mini HDMI port on it. It also has a uh, 16 times digital view or uh, zoom. So, it's about the size of a, it's about the size of an iPhone, maybe a little thicker, but that's what I got. So, we're going to start off with what I picked up at, hmm... Let's do thrift store finds first. I know it's a little shaky. The tripod I'm using is not the best. So it's not the camera. Um, I picked up Dropping It Super Mario Deluxe. It's a little worn. But uh, I spent $1.50 uh, on it. It's $25 percent off of uh, um, two dollars or yeah two dollars same with this one um, Galaga and Galaxian for the Game Boy I picked up um, for 75 cents Doom 2 and Doom Ultimate it didn't come with a case but the discs were in okay condition, um, they have little scuffs on it, but they should work, and plus it was only 75 cents. I'm not big into PC games, but I remember Doom, and Doom 2 being a big classic. Um, got a Atari Anniversary Edition Redux for the PlayStation, spent, um, I think a buck and a quarter on this. Don't remember. Got this Metroid Prime complete with all the inserts. You got the other extra inserts back there. So it's all there. <clears throat> um, got it for six dollars. Got Guitar Hero Encore Rock, Rock in the '80s for uh, a buck fifty. Got this for a buck fifty. They're all complete. This one even comes with the poster. Got this for um, 75 cents. Complete. Guitar Hero. DDR Max 2. I don't use the dance pad. 
Um, I find it entertaining just to play it on the controller once in a while. I know it's cheating, but um, paid 75 cents for this. Complete. Um, this is in a thrift store. Fine, but I didn't really know what to put it with. There's a store out here called Micro Center. Uh, some of you might be familiar with it, but <clears throat> it um, it's a computer hardware store, and you can get other stuff at it too. And they have a game section. And I picked up the third birthday for um, the PSP. Comes complete. Even with the little inserts. Um, haven't seen if the been registered or not, but. <clears throat> Um, I paid eight dollars for that. <clears throat> Next, <clears throat> I'm gonna do half price books. Um, move some of this stuff out of the way here. And I need room. First, I'm going to start off with Resident Evil Degeneration. It was a special edition. Uh, paid whatever, 15% uh, off of $7. Um, why it's the special edition is because it came with. Oh, one of the reasons why I decided to buy it came with the t-shirt. I'm going to make it so you guys can see it because the camera's at a funky angle. And it came with the t-shirt. It's just that. There's nothing on the back or anything. I do wish it was black with red lettering or something, you know, but not much you can do. Um, in part one, I picked up... Uh, um, if you guys watched it, I picked up season 1 through 3 for, uh, $15. Um, of this series. <clears throat> and, um, I paid 15% off of, uh, $8 on this season 4. It's complete, it has all the inserts and everything. So... Picked up Super Mario Sunshine for six bucks. That's fifteen percent off. Picked us up for eight bucks, fifteen percent and plus fifteen percent off. Um, this is complete, and this is complete. Sorry, I keep forgetting to do that. Um. This is uh, Pawn Shop Finds. Picked that up for four dollars. Um, it came with a sleeve, but I'll put that on another game. One that was uh, worth a little more. <laughs> um, picked that up for four dollars. Final Fantasy Three came complete. Looks in a little rough shape, but nonetheless, it's complete. So yeah, I decided to start collecting for the Nintendo DS. I've been meaning to because uh, um, you know I've been using an R4, and I re I uh, I rather have uh, authentic uh, games. R4. I will keep, it comes in handy if I wanted to travel or something like that, so, but, um, got Final Fantasy, The Four Heroes of the Light, uh, paid, I believe it was $6 for that, came complete, 
Came out with the little inserts behind the manual. Paper Mario, Super Paper Mario for the Wii. Complete. Paid uh, $8 for that. Paid another $8 on Bayonetta for the 316. $4 for Assassin's Creed. Bayonetta or Assassin's Creed didn't come with the manual. And this, it's not the unofficial release. I do plan on getting it, but I paid four dollars for this and I was very happy about it. Box copy of Tenjin Pac-Man. It's the licensed version of it. <clears throat> Box is in mm, okay condition. It's not banged up or anything. It's just wear. But uh came with a lot of stuff that I didn't really realize it came with. It came with the styrofoam insert. Um, and I, I say it that way because um, I know it's not supposed to come with it. Um, it came with a, uh, hopefully I can get it in frame here. And Super Power Club Star Fox poster. I believe that was supposed to come with Super Nintendo games. Came with the danger do not open thing. I'm opening it anyways. So I don't think it was supposed to come with that. Also, don't think it was supposed to come with um, two Super Nintendo uh, consumer information booklets, <laughs> which I did not have. Uh, of course, it came with the sleeve. Here's the game. It also came with the manual. The manual's a little beat up, comes apart, but nonetheless, there's a manual. Um, the only thing is, why it comes apart. This cable's missing. You know. <clears throat> Sorry. My voice is a little uh, hoarse today for some reason. But, um, yeah, I came with all that inside of it. And I was just kind of like, hmm, wow. But to me, spending $4, it was all very, very worth it. So. Considering how much it goes for on eBay. So, and speaking of which, um, here are my eBay purchases. I got Galaga. Uh, paid $5 for that. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, or 3, Man Manhattan Project. Paid, uh, Seven dollars, and this is these are priced with shipping. So, um, and I'm actually rounding up because I don't know the exact change amount. Got one too. Paid five dollars for that. A boy in his blob. Paid, um, I believe it was eight, and I paid eight for this too. Donkey Kong Classics. Um, and it goes on. I do purchase quite a bit off eBay. Got this for five. South Park for the N64. And paid five for this. Castlevania. I know it's a crap game, but it's a Castlevania game, and I want as many as I can get possible. <clears throat> Yeast 3. Um, paid ten dollars for that. Um, Children of Mana, complete, paid nine, 
Final Fantasy, Crystal Chronicles, Ring of Fate. Complete. Paid, I believe it was six dollars for that. Paid six for this. Naruto, Clash of the Ninja 2. Complete. Tower's getting massive. Picked up Eco, no manual, just the receipt. Um, Nine dollars, I believe it was. So, and pretty much uh, that's all that um, I picked up personally. So, um, Let me straighten some stuff out. Need a uh, room. So, this is, uh, what I got for Christmas, um, for my girlfriend. So, <clears throat> she spoils me when it comes to certain days, and I spoil her too, so, um, and, uh, this was new and sealed. She picked up me, and uh, picked me up a Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Impact for the PSP. Hunting ground for hunting grounds for the PlayStation 2. It's complete. PlayStation 1 <coughs> memory card. Um, a Yu-Gi-Oh game for the PlayStation 2. Got me a uh, PS1 multi tap. I don't know if I have any uh, games for the PS1 that utilize that, but nonetheless, I have it if I need it. <clears throat> I'm a big Mario fan, if people haven't realized. Um, but she got me a DS cart holder. I already put a couple of styluses in it. Got me this uh, little uh, Mario action figure. Also, I thought these were cool. Sorry. Luigi plush, a blue toad plush, Yoshi plush, and a Mario plush. I thought that was really cool. Oh, this is damn near 20 minutes long already. Well, it's almost over. Got me a complete, or damn near complete, no manual, just the sleeve and the box and the game. Uh, Batman for the Super, uh, Nintendo. Um, there's no styrofoam, no manual or anything with it, but that's okay. And the big thing that she got me. What is this? And... Okay. 
Here it is. Of course, I already unboxed it. Well, technically, I didn't, but how she bought it. Or got it. Came with the charger as well. Big deal. But nonetheless, I got a 25th anniversary edition Nintendo DSi XL with the box. Does it come with all the inserts? It comes with the internal box. You see that. But there's no inserts. It came with the big stylus. It came with anything else. I don't know. I don't remember. No, it didn't come with anything else. But, yeah. That's what, this is what I've gotten in the past two months. Um... To prevent uh, videos from being so long, um, I think I'm just going to start doing it monthly because uh, I've already made a part one, this is part two, I mean that's kind of long, I think. So I'm going to start doing monthly pickups. So thank you for watching. Um, please uh, rate, subscribe. And uh, until next time, I'll be uh, posting another video here probably in a few days. Oh, and um, I was supposed to be getting a package from somebody, and uh, something happened with it. We're trying. Sorry. We're trying to uh, find out what happened to it. And uh, as soon as I get it. If I do get it, I'll do an unboxing of that. So, uh, yet again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.